Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whatever time it is while you're watching this. Now who wouldn't want 300 horsepower of supercharged Kawasaki goodness parked in their garage? Well, I've got one. Let's have a look at it. Yes, I know about my sense of humour. People have told me about it often enough and this is a kit review. So let's look at a kit. If you're not planning on riding over the winter, you might want to find something else to do with the motorbiking theme. And here's what you can get up to. These kits are getting on for 50 quid for the more highly detailed lighter ones in the Tamiya range. So let's see what you get in your kit and do one of these YouTube unboxing things that the children like doing. And there we go. The instruction manual weighs in at 36 separate steps, some of which will contain multiple painting and gluing together bits, as you can see. And you'll build everything from the engine all the way upwards to the finished bike. Tamiya kits are very highly detailed, you also get a bag containing things like a very small screwdriver to put the screws in, metal screws, brake lines, realistic pattern tyres, the whole shebang, all in one convenient box. As you notice the model isn't the finished colour so you're probably also going to need to be looking at getting hold of paints. Not just brush on paints, but also various colours of spray. Believe it or not, this doesn't even come close to the number of paints I've actually got for building Tamiya models. You're also going to be looking at needing brushes of various sizes. A couple of different types of glue and various modelling implements, pliers, side cutters, tweezers and a scalpel. If you don't quite fancy tackling kit number 136 in the Tamiya range, you could instead go for kit number 6. Honda CB750 from the 70s and 80s and uh, with this one the instructions go to a grand total of 15 steps. There's also a lot less uh, paints needed to get this model looking accurate. Hopefully that's given you an idea of something you can get up to over winter if you don't carry on riding, uh, facing the salt, the ice, the snow, the rain and everything else that the weather in the UK throws at us, along with the dozy drivers. You've got something there to put on your Christmas list. I'd recommend starting with the lower kit numbers. There's various ones from the 80s, such as the RG250 Gamma, and they're all highly detailed. The earlier the number, the less parts, the less time to put together, but they're still all very well engineered kits. The higher the number, you're gonna need more paints, more time, and uh, considerably more investment in the old cash for buying all the colored paints you're going to need, some of which you're gonna use one tiny little drop of. In terms of time, you can get a good uh, lower numbered kit put together, painted, finished and up on your shelf in about 15 hours. Uh, the higher numbered kits you're looking easily 50 hours for some of them for tiny little detail painting and everything else. But the end product does look really good. If you do one, hope you enjoy it. Comments below if you want to let me know what you think of them. If you are riding in winter, there'll be a few other bits and pieces on here as I uh, embark on yet another freezing cold one in the UK. And uh, hopefully everything will be staying upright and relatively salt free. So I'll catch you in the next film. See you then. Of course, for a lot less time, effort, money and paint, you can get yourself a Lego motorbike. In one of the ranges, Lego also do an S1000RR kit, which you can uh, put together at your leisure might be worth putting on the Christmas list. This one is 5 plus, so as soon as I can find a grown-up to help me, I'll be building it. And here we are. Despite what people have said, I would like to point out that this is not based on me. I've never had a blue motorbike. 
thanks for watching there's a couple of other video ideas and a playlist to have a look at here and uh, enjoy your riding over winter or enjoy building model kits if that's your thing and have a good winter christmas new year and everything else and uh, hopefully see you on the road when things get a bit warmer